Once upon a time in 1811 in the west of Scotland, there lived a man whose name was Henry Bell. He was sitting alone in his living room, wondering if he should write a letter to John Wood Shipbuilders and Co. to help him with an idea he had of building a paddle steamer. He decided yes, he would write to John Wood and this is what he wrote. Dear John, I have been wondering if you would please help me build a boat, but it's not just any boat. It's an idea I've had for a paddle steamer, which can ferry people up and down the River Clyde. We must meet and discuss ideas and plans if you're willing to help me. Please reply to me if you can help. Yours sincerely, Henry Bell. Days after Henry sent the letter, he anxiously paced up and down by the door. Time passed by and still nothing was lying in the doorway. Henry was getting frustrated. Where is my letter? When will he reply? I'm so bored of waiting. The next day, at long last, the clank of the letterbox excited Henry. Jumping for joy, he hurriedly ripped open the letter, scanning for a positive answer. Yes! Happily, Henry replied with his ideas and they arranged to meet. John Wood received Henry's letter of thanks and imagined working on the boat together. OK, I will need to build a cabin, a single funnel, paddle wheels and the finishing touches will be black and red paint on the wood. Oh, and I will also need to acquire an engine and a boiler. Henry Bell and John Wood had decided to meet in the Port Glasgow Library. Both men were browsing the books when, coincidentally, two different hands reached out for the same book, which was called Steam Ships. Oh, hi, Henry Bell. I, I didn't realise it was you. Hello there, Mr Wood. I didn't see you either. I'm so glad to finally meet you, Henry. Me too. Thank you for helping me. John Wood let Henry Bell take the book since he was the one with all the ideas. They went to sit down with the book and discussed work on the boat. I'm so excited to work with you on building this steam ship, Henry. Me too, John. The next day, John Wood and his two sons, John Jr and Charles Wood, went to the shipyard and met Henry there. Henry, I'd like you to meet my two sons, John and Charles. Pleasure to meet you, gentlemen. You too, you too Mr. Mr. Bell. You have a wonderful idea for this ship, Mr. Bell. Thank you. I'm so grateful to your father for his help. They hired some shipbuilders to help build and decorate the boat. You're, You're all hired. hired. Yay! Yay! So the work began on the steamships, which was to be called the Comet. After the Great Comet of 1811, the work was long and tiring, and John Wood wanted the work done quickly. I want that wood here now. Yes, yes sir. sir. This job is far too much work. I know, he's so moody. I'm thinking of quitting. Me too. Me three. Cheer up, guys. He's only moody because he wants the work done fast. Besides, it's break time. I wish didn't drink your coffee. Unfortunately, the bell rang which signalled that break time was over. Best get back to work then, boys. Work went on and there was still painting to be done. Our father's dead. Unfortunately, around this time, John Wood passed away and his two sons, Charles and George, took over. So now we're in charge? Yes, we are now taking over the Comet contract. We are here to help. Again the work went on and still the shipbuilders worked hard to complete the Comet. Ouch, my back hurts. I can't wait till this is done. Ah, uh, stop complaining. It'll be worth it when it's finished. I will be proud to have worked on the Comet when it's complete. Finally, after such hard work, the Comet was complete. The ship was 28 tonnes, 45 feet long and 10 feet wide. It was 4 shillings for the best cabin and 3 shillings for the deck. Crowds gathered on the 8th of August 1812 to see the Comet set sail on its maiden voyage. Wow, you were right. It looks great. I'm really proud. See, all the hard work has paid off. Let's celebrate. Woo! Yay! Yay! The captain was greeting the passengers as they climbed aboard and they were waving to the crowds. Welcome aboard the Comet. The Comet sailed from Port Glasgow 21 miles upriver to Glasgow at 5 miles per hour. Everyone was talking about how much fun it was. Through the years the boat was a huge success until one fateful night on the 13th of December 1820. The Comet was sailing to Oban and suddenly was caught up in a strong current at Craigness Point. The captain tried to steer away, but it was too late. The Comet was sinking. Mayday, mayday, we're going down. Everyone abandon ship. <coughs> Passengers screamed and panicked. They were searching for their friends among the crowds of people, screaming and shouting. Someone save us. Some were jumping overboard and swimming to shore. Quick, hurry, jump before she sinks. Sadly, the ship sunk and the currents to its watery grave. 
Luckily, there were no lives lost, but that was the end of Henry Bell and John Wood's Comet.